Hello and welcome to the seventh tutorial that looks at the spreadsheet section of the GCSE ICT Unit 2 Control Test. Now in this video tutorial what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at adding up the total number of goals scored by each player. Now this is one of the more common functions that you've more likely to have encountered in your Key Stage 3 lessons and also one that's really really useful that you can use in everyday life because this is a very simple function that actually adds up the total of a group of numbers so for example I can actually show you over here as an example if I wanted to add up all of these numbers here what I could do is I could put a heading in there to say total and obviously if you were to use your head to work these out I'm sure you could do that and it would take you a little bit of time not too long and um, equally you could also use a calculator so if I open up my calculator and I could go over to here and I could say 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 but as you can see it to do that is still actually quite a time-consuming process and this is where Excel is really really good and where functions can actually help you so, in here I'm going to do a nice easy function, and that's the sum function. So I'm going to do equals, because I'm telling Excel that I'm starting a formula or a function. So I've put in equals. So this cell, if I click on it, there we go through the process. This cell equals the sum, and as you can see here, your functions, the list of functions actually comes up. It predicts what you're going to choose by what you've typed in. But we're actually just going to go for a sum function there. Now what I could do is I could actually just click on sum there and press the tab key and it sets up the formula ready. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually just type it out to show you. So equals sum and it doesn't matter whether it's lowercase or uppercase. And I'm then going to open the brackets or the parentheses. Because what we're going to do is we're saying find the total of and we're going to put all the numbers inside the bracket. So I'm just going to literally highlight all of those. And what it will do is it will take the first cell reference which we chose which is K8. The colon there represents the range of or between. So it's saying between K8 and K27. So what I need to do there is I need to close the brackets because I've opened them. Press enter and it tells me that all of those numbers added up together equals 210. And it's very, very accurate. So just to show you that again and to show you how quick it can be done as opposed to using the calculator or using your head. Equals sum, open brackets, highlight all of the numbers that you want to add up and close the brackets, press enter. And that's told me there. But what we're actually going to do for this column is we're going to do the number of goals scored. So somewhere in my table here, just out of the way, think of this as a summary of your spreadsheet. So we've got all of our main information here. And then what I want to do, just outside of the table, so imagine the table in, is in this area. I want to start mine just over here. So I'm going to say total goals scored in there. And what I'm going to do then, I'm going to stretch the column out by going into the column boundaries between H and G, double click, and it stretches it out to fit that perfectly. Then what I'm going to do is I can I can make these numbers up. Obviously, if I was copying them from a sheet from the football club that had asked me to make this spreadsheet, they may have included the amount of goals that each person had scored. So I type them in. So let's say I'm going to do, they're a striker, so they're likely to have scored more. So I'll say 10. Say in the midfield, they may have scored five. Defence, less likely to score, so maybe two. The goalkeeper, I'm going to put zero, because it's got to be realistic. Um, the striker again, maybe I'll put six. And you can just make these up as you go along. It doesn't really matter what you put, as long as it's realistic. He's the goalkeeper. Maybe we'll say he had one, came up for a header. So we'll put that one in as three. So there we are. That's the amount of goals that each player scored. So again, no formulas for this one because this is actually based on real events. So the total goals scored, if I want to do a sum function again, remember it's equals, and I can if I type the letter S and then U, it should come up down here, which it has, and I can either just type it in, 
press M and open the bracket, or if I click on the, for, uh, the function that I actually want to use and press the tab key, it sets it up ready. And all I'm going to do is highlight all of those goals that are in the number of goals scored column. And it'll tell me how many we scored as a team. 59 goals. And that is as simple as that for a sum function. So really, think about what you could do with this in everyday life. Um, you could add up all of your test scores. It could be used if you were training for an event. So say you added up all of your your race times, for example, and you and worked out the average to find out your average running time. So this is really, really good. It's a really useful function, and it's very, very easy to set up and quick. But the main importance is that it's reliable as well, because it's accurate. So let's quickly go to our mark scheme. And if we have a look at what we've covered in this tutorial regarding the skills and what marks you can actually achieve, we have actually used a simple function of sum. And in the next video, we'll be looking at average, max, and min. Okay, so those will be in the next video tutorial.